One group is calling on the Department of Education to prioritize the mental health of teachers by reducing their non-teaching workload and giving them mental health breaks. Fatal Mundo with a story. COVID-19 has managed to disrupt everyone's way of life. One of its most obvious impact is on education, which relied on blended learning for the last two years. But even though the pandemic situation in the country has improved, it still left scars on some educators. Teacher Alvin and his family had been infected with COVID-19 at one point. And after COVID, he is now facing a different battle that with mental health issues. Nag pandemic po, sobrang stress po ang dinala niya. Every time na sinusuot ko tong ano ko, headphone ko, may naririnig akong echo tapos bigla po ako nagpapanik tapos after po no nagkakaroon po ako ng acid reflux tapos bigla pong bumagsak yung katawan ko. Apart from the pandemic, heavy workload in school also added to his burden. The same goes for teacher Hana. She has been a teacher for two decades, but now she admits feeling stressed and burnt out, especially after having to adjust from a work-from-home setup to again commuting for more than four hours to get to school. She also feels pressured whenever her students cannot pick up lessons easily. Pinakasanayan mo, medyo papabuhin mo ulit, lalo na agali tayo sa two years na walang face-to-face, tapos biglang ngayon may face-to-face. The education department admits the teachers now have heavier workload since they also have non-teaching tasks. The DepEd said that it's looking at reducing administrative tasks for teachers. The agency also launched a campaign called Hashtag Mentally Healthy DepEd. But for the Teachers' Dignity Coalition, DepEd should consider giving teachers a one-week academic break. Alam naman po natin ano, na basically nagisimula po yung uh, yung uh, mental health issues no quote and quote no kapag ka medyo meron tayong uh, nabibigatan tayo no dun sa ating trabaho mga work related no na mga issues po ito no A psychologist also says that mental health breaks are important for teachers to avoid burnout They have to do also self-care. Self-care doesn't mean na uh, you are, you are selfish na ang pangangalagaan mo sarili mo lang. Hindi kasi bilang isang teacher, marami pang hamon sa buhay na lahat ng klase ng magulang mararanasan nila at madidinig nila. And siguro dapat lang magkaroon sila ng hindi lang isang tabo ng pasensya kundi bodebodegang pasensya. Magkaroon ng mental awareness uh, program din ang mga eskwelahan for the teachers. Kasi kung ngayon they are starting it with the employees. For News 5, Fate Del Mundo, we are One News.